Hi everyone, welcome. So in this Shopify tutorial, we're gonna learn about this. Okay everyone, so in this uh, Shopify Brooklyn theme customization tutorial, part number six in 2019, we're gonna learn how we can create collections. So a collection is like a category, so you can sort your products, so your customers can easier find uh, the product they want, all right? So to do this, just go to the back end, and go to the left sidebar, click on products, go down to collections. So under collections, you see organize your products into collections. So collections are categories you can create to help your customers find products. Okay, so we're going to create our first collection. Let's click on create collection. Like that. So here we can customize our collection. So we can add a title, description, collection type. We can edit a search engine list in preview and also add a collection image if we like. Okay, so let's say I want to have a title. So maybe we're gonna create a collection for men's shoes. So I'm just gonna type in men's shoes like that and then we can add a description so this uh, is a description for your uh, collection so you can add maybe what products they will find in this collection okay so I'm just gonna add a dummy text like that and now we can edit the text with uh, the menu right here so you got formatting we can choose paragraph heading 1 to 6 we can do bold italic underline bullet list numbered list out dent indent and alignment left center right we also got color and link insert table insert image insert video and clear all the formatting okay so let's say you want to have a title let's choose the text you want to have as a title highlight it click on formatting choose heading one like that and then we can maybe make some text bold like that we can make it italic like that we can add an underscore like that so just to create a perfect uh, description and if you want to have maybe a bullet list just click on bullet list like that and just add all the things you want to have in the bullet list okay and same thing with number list okay and then we got outdent and indent so if I click right here click on indent this will move the text to the right and if you click on outdent it will move it back like that we can also choose alignment left center or right like that so I'm gonna choose left and we can change the text color so if I highlight the text click right here choose a text color and this will change the text color you can also choose the background like that so if I click on text maybe choose white and I'm choosing background black like that so now we have a black background and a white text we got a link, you can just highlight the text, click on the link, insert a link, like that, and now we can choose open this link in the same window or a new window. So if you're going to link to another website, I recommend you to use a new window, or if you're going to link to a product or a page in this Shopify store, you can just choose the same window. So I'm gonna choose a new window. You can, if you want, add a link title. So just add a good link title, uh, so used for accessibility and SEO. After that, just click on insert link. And now we have a link right here, okay? Then we got insert table. We can just 
add the marker right here, click on insert table, and now we have a table right here. We can add some information. Maybe you can add some size M and add the uh, measurements and things like that. Okay. Then we got the uh, insert image. Let's add the marker right here and click on insert image. So here you can upload images. You can uh, click on product images. So right now we don't have any products. We can choose URL, paste the image URL to get the image. So in this case, I'm just going to choose uploaded images. I'm just going to add this one. And you can add an image alt text for SEO. So just add an image alt text right here. So this uh, will describe the image. Then we got size. We can uh, choose original and all of these sizes. So I'm going to choose medium. Click on insert image. Like that. And if I click on the image, I can click on alignment. Click on center. And this will center the image. And if I click on right, this will align the image right. And the text will end up to the left. Okay. So in this case, I'm just going to center it. And we can change the size right here, like that. Very easy. And if you want to add a video, click on insert video. Insert the video by pasting the embed snippet in the box below. So the embed snippet usually starts with iframe. So you can go to YouTube and just search for the video you want to have. I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to click on share. And I'm going to click on embed. And here you got the embed code snippet. So we got iframe. And you can customize this by start at a certain time, maybe 10 seconds in. We can choose uh, embed options, show player controls, yes or no. We can choose enable privacy enhanced mode. So when you turn on privacy enhanced mode, YouTube won't store information about visitors on your website unless they play the video. Okay, so I'm going to check this one. And you got this one. By embedding YouTube videos on your site, you are agreeing to YouTube API terms of service. So you can right click, open a new tab and read about it right here. And after that, we are gonna go and copy this embed code snippet. Go back to the Shopify store and paste it right here. Click on insert video. Now we got the video right here, okay? So just add a good description if you like. You don't have to do it, but if you want to do this, you now know how to do this with the menu right here, okay? Then we can go down to collection type. So we got manual. So add products to this collection one by one. You can just click right here and learn more. But uh, what this means is if I click right here and I create a product, I need to manually add this product to my collection type. It's not hard. I think this is much easier. But you also got this one automated. So existing and future products that match the conditions you set will automatically be added to this collection. You can also read more about it right here. So we got conditions. So you can set conditions right here. Products must match all conditions or any conditions. So you can add a product tag is equal to maybe shoes like that. So if you add a tag in your product with shoes, this will end up in this collection. Okay, you can also choose product title, type, vendor, price, compare at price, weight, inventory stock, and variant title. Okay, is equal to, is not equal to, is greater than, and so on. Okay, and you can also add multiple conditions if you want to have more than one. All right, so in this case, I'm just going to choose manual. And now we got search engine listing preview. So this is the preview on how it's going to look on the search engines. So you can click on edit website SEO. And here you can change the page title, the description, the URL handle. Okay. 
just uh, make it as best as you can to get more clicks if you end up in the search engines okay then we go up and we can add an image so let's say I want to have an image on men's shoes so I'm just gonna go to Pixabay I'm gonna search for men's shoes men's shoes okay so I'm just gonna pick one so let's say I want to have this one I'm gonna click on download I'm gonna use 1280 times 853 click on download I'm not a robot click on download like that so let's go back to the Shopify store click on add image choose the image click on open like that and then we can go down to theme templates so collection template so the template customers see when viewing this collection in your store so I'm gonna choose image to show this uh, image okay and then we can click on product availability click on manage click on done so now you see available on one of one channels and apps so this is it now we're gonna click on save so created men's shoes view on your online store or create another collection so i'm just gonna view this so i'm gonna click on view on your online store okay so now we got the image we got the collection name we got the title we got the text that we have uh, edit and we got the image we got the video right here we can also center this video if you go back let's try to add a marker right here as you can see it's uh, blinking and now we can click on alignment click on center click on save let's go back and have a look click on update like that so now we have centered the video as well okay and you can also go to the collection now and go down and you also got this you can add products to this collection right here you can browse and search for the products and choose the product and then click on add like that okay okay everyone so this is how you can create a collection in your Shopify store in 2019 using the Brooklyn theme okay so I hope this helped okay everyone so this is the end of this tutorial I hope this helped if you want you can leave a comment below you can subscribe to my channel right here and also check out my latest video right here. So I hope you have an awesome day. Take care and bye.